Hey guys, Standalone Fight here, and I'm just making this video to tell you guys that um, I've finally got a partnership with YouTube. Yay! And um, I've got it with Machinima of all people, which really surprised me because I thought my channel would be nowhere near good enough to actually get onto Machinima, especially when you see the other partners of Machinima, you know, they got like over 100,000 subs. I mean, you know, I, I just barely got past 500 a few days ago myself. So, this video is also to tell you guys a little bit about how I got the partnership. And um, through telling you guys this, maybe this might actually help you to get a partnership yourself with Machinima. Now, to my knowledge, I believe there used to be a Facebook app, or there still is a Facebook app, where you apply for Machinima. But um, I never did that. Um, I sent an email to Machinima, um, there's a very specific email that you can send that has all inquiries about partnerships, I'll be leaving a link to link to that in the description below. So anyway, I sent an email, I said um, I, I have a channel, I make gaming videos, I'm not a money driven person, I gave stats about um, my social blade, how many subscribers I got, what's my views a month and everything and uh, obviously some guy at Machinima had obviously read this email so he sends this email to Ken Burton Ken Burton is the person responsible for recruiting all Machinima partners in the UK and Europe but um, just a few days ago it's actually changed to another person I can't remember his exact name but I'll be leaving that in the description below as well so anyway, when Ken Burton was the recruiter for Machinima, um, it really shocked me when um, when he said yes, you can have a partnership. And I spent a good 10 minutes looking at that email, just thinking, is it fake? Did like one of my mates try to play a prank on me or anything? But you know, after replying back, getting the contract sorted and everything I realised then it actually started to hit home I'm actually becoming a Machinima partner so you know th this has been quite a big thing for me because I've been trying to become a partner for quite a while you know for like four years now it's only recently that I've actually started making decent videos on my channel that are actually starting to get views so yeah that was um, that was really amazing when I found that out so, as a bit of um, extra bonus to this video, I guess, um, I'm going to talk about uh, some of my biggest fails when I was at Eurogamer. And uh, whew, I got quite a lot of funny loads of them. So, my first story is basically, I was, um, I was trying to track down Syndicate the whole time through the event. And I think it was the second or third day of Eurogamer that um, that I actually found him. It was near to the ending of the day. Um, they just got off from playing Black Ops 2. I'd found KSI. I got the interview with him. I was really happy. Then I found Syndicate about five minutes after. After and there were loads of people just absolutely swarming him. I was actually even surprised I was able to get near him to actually get a word in. So. I asked him, do you want an interview? So he said, uh, oh, sorry, um, it's been a really long day. Um, and, you know, he hadn't eaten for the whole day, what he had told me. But uh, KSI was still talking to all the fans. So Syndicate turns around to me and said, okay, yeah, um, well, we can have an interview if you want. I was like, no, nah, it's okay. It looks like KSI is finishing up over there. So I'll leave you to it. I'll probably get an interview with you tomorrow. And letting him go at that point was perhaps one of the biggest mistakes I made. Because after that point, I could never find... I, Yeah, I actually could not find him again after that event. Um, so, because I had a press pass at um, Eurogamer, I talked to... Um, I think his name's Kayan... Kayan, something like that. He's basically the guy um, who's in charge of making all the YouTube videos at the Cult of Razor YouTube channel. So I was talking to him. I was asking, um, where's Syndicate? Could I possibly talk to him for an interview? And he said yes. So I said, okay, where can I find you? He said, we'll usually be in the press area. Bear in mind, the press area is where 
not the public can't normally go. You have to have a press pass or be part of the media to get there. So it's going to be one of the very few places where you wouldn't be swamped. So I waited there for, uh, let me think, about a good four hours, something like that. So I was sitting there, sitting there, waiting. I was like, and then I saw Kayan, or Kayan, still don't know how to say his name. I saw him walk into one of the uh, interview rooms. So I thought, okay, he must be doing some sort of interview. But uh, when I took a quick peek through the window, they were just sitting there chatting. So I didn't want to really interrupt him. So I waited for them to finish their chat. And when he came out, I went up to him again and said, um, sorry to ask this again, but... Uh, I don't suppose you'd know where Syndicate is. And at that point, he told me, we're not sure ourselves. He was actually supposed to be here, and we can't find him ourselves. So, all throughout the day, I was asking him at various times, you know, where's Syndicate, where's Syndicate? Without trying to be very rude or intrusive, I would ask him once, and then if he said no, I'd walk away. Right, and one of the times while asking him where Syndicate... Um, I walked up to him, said hi, how are you doing? And then, for some reason, I got a little bit nervous because KSI then walked up to me. No, no, sorry, not KSI. The other guy from Rosa actually walked up to me and said hello, which was a bit unexpected because I wasn't expecting him to say hello to me. Um, actually, no, no, sorry, I've said that wrong. Sorry, uh, you know what, I'm just going to edit that part out. So, I'm asking Kayan again. Um, where's Syndicate, right? And at that point, uh, KSI comes up to me and said hi. And then for some reason, I got really, really, really nervous. And then, I, you know, I quickly finished the conversation. And then as soon as I turned around, another guy from Razor was saying hi to me as if he was coming to greet me. Just as, uh, just as I was turning away, so it looked like I completely blanked him. And it wasn't five it was about five minutes after that I realised Oh shit. I must have completely blanked that guy. I was like uh, you know, goodbye sponsorship from Razor <laughs> Just yeah. But um you know, we all make mistakes. Um and th there was another part where I was um well, me and my two friends, my cameraman and the other guy who usually has like loads of information on loads of game developers and stuff, we were queuing up to get some food, but all the tables would always be like completely packed out. I, uh, my friend told me there was a table behind me, so I wanted to get to the table fairly quickly, um, you know, so no one else took it so I could save it for my friends. So I turned around, I started walking, and I accidentally bumped right into the one of the Razor girls. I was like, fuck. I was like, sorry, sorry. So, I was really, really sorry. And she probably gave me one of the dirtiest looks I had ever seen in my life. And I was just thinking, wow. I have really cocked up my chances if I ever wanted to get a sponsorship by Rosa because I was, I was trying to become friendly with them and for some reason I just kept doing all the wrong things and yeah that, that was a real really really unfortunate that that happened I couldn't actually take one second to look then walk but instead I walked then looked oh. That was that was really bad. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, sorry about the really, really bad Call of Duty gameplay. As you can tell, I'm not exactly very pro at this. And I would also be interested to see how many people actually watch this. You know, like how many of my subscribers are actually actively watching my videos and if people are actually watching these all the way through. So, with that being said... Oh, uh, just before I go nearly forgot to mention I will be starting up gamers update soon I'm not sure how soon because right now well, I've got a job that's six days a week and then on top of that I got college then when I get home I got to do coursework and then 
you know, people were always dragging me on to saying, yeah, let's play League of Legends, we'll play League of Legends, which always lasts about sort of 3 o'clock in the morning, then I feel like crap the next day. So, videos are definitely going to be coming out a bit slower. But, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down, thumbs down if you hated it. And, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Thank you.